Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the back garden yard. Today's video we're going to talk about those peppers. Uh, pepper plants are blooming now. Oh, they're looking good out there but they need some work. So we're going to go out there and there's four tips and tricks that I have to help you make a bumper crop of peppers. So let's go look at those peppers. So the first thing is do not top pepper plants. Now I've seen videos where everybody's telling people to top the pepper plants. But the, uh, the thing is, this pepper plant, if you can see, it, it spread out by itself. And so did this one, and so did this one, and so are the bell peppers which are over there. So I don't see any need at all to be topping the pepper plant to get more growth. Now, there is something you need to do. And uh, so tip number one is do not top the pepper plant. But tip number two is to pull off all the little peppers that have come up like on the first row so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this pepper off. I should be cutting it, but I'm just going to kind of flip it off here. And now I'm going to leave these because they're not on the first row. And then we're going to cut all these leaves right here off. And maybe they'll make some suckers come out down here. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. We're going to cut these off because they're too close to the ground. And that way then uh, they're not needed. And... Well, that's actually a feeder leaf we'll leave in. And that's what we're gonna do on all these plants. And that way, uh, here's one that's gonna make suckers coming out. So we're gonna take these leaves off so they can get some light down there. There's not any early peppers on that. There's a lot of peppers on these Asian ones. And I'm gonna get all the ones from the bottom off. Now, why you get them off the bottom is because if those mature, they'll send signals to the plants and they'll tell the plants that hey you've done it you've uh, reproduced you don't need to bloom anymore and they'll quit blooming and as you can see they're just they're just loaded with blooms so they're going to make a lot of peppers here and we want to keep them blooming so, that... so the third tip is when they've made all these flowers and they're blooming and they're putting on little peppers well now it's time to fertilize them one more time. So I don't fertilize them except for the initial fertilization until they actually uh, bloom and start putting on fruit. And at that point, I want to fertilize them because I want them to grow the biggest, best fruit they can. And if you notice, these are a little pale yellow here, say compared to back in here where they got dark green. And that's the color we want. We want them to be dark green like this. And so these are a little bit deficient in some nutrient, probably nitrogen at this point because they've been a long time since they've been fertilized. So I'm going to fertilize them all. And uh, the way I do that is I sprinkle it just like I do table salt around the base. And so I'll show you that. Okay, so... Here we go, I've got my 10 10 10 fertilizer and I'm gonna get just a little handful and I'm gonna sprinkle it all around the edge. I try not to actually touch the base with it, but right around the edge of the plant. Here's the next one. And the roots from the plant are going all out in here. So that'll, uh, that'll go right down to them. It's supposed to rain again tonight. That's why I'm going ahead and getting them fertilized. And I'll do one more. So remember, I'm gonna cut these bottom leaves off. I'm gonna pick these bottom peppers off. And then I'm gonna fertilize the whole thing. And uh, then we're gonna tie them up. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the tie up first and then I'll do the rest of it and I'll show you what happened at the end. So I found these 
stakes I'm using at a local farm supply store and if they look like rebar well guess what that's what they are some enterprising entrepreneur has come in I'll pull one up if I can and he has put and welded a little rebar plate onto here and uh, they're a lot cheaper than these fence posts that I buy and they're gonna do the exact same job so I bought 25 of them I think they were about 279 a piece and uh, they are working really good you put that little thing in there you hammer it down keeps them from twisting falling out and there you go it's a instant pepper steak That's perfect uh, that's just a little aside all right so back to the job what we're going to do is as you can see I've already hammered all these rebars in so we've got them lined up right in the center of the plants so I'm going to run a string right down the center of these rows and through the plants and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut one and I'll, I'll let you see me do it on the first row and then I'll do the other ones with the camera off okay so here we go So now, now I've got you looking right down the middle of that plant as I come to it with the string. And so what I'm doing is I'm coming right down the middle of the plants and I'm putting this support string right down the middle. So as the wind blows, it's gonna be about equal weight on each side. And we're coming right up to this pole here doing the same thing. I'm coming right through the middle of the plant with the string and then we're going to tie it off at the end nice and tight like that you can see how it's going down through these plants and let's say I'm the wind now and I'm blowing on this plant well it's not going anywhere this plant here is not going anywhere and the reason is it's got that string running through the middle so what will end up happening is these are going to end up getting about six feet tall and so right here on the very top I will run a string on the outsides of the plants to keep the limbs from breaking off and I'll crisscross them uh, coming out this one and then back over on this side and then back over to that side is the way we'll do that and that will give them all the support they need to get over six feet tall and just put on just as many peppers as they want to so okay folks i have finished the job on the first row of these pepper plants and we'll see what it looks like and so down here, oh, I missed one. You want to get the, the first peppers that have come out. And this is what I got off the row. And I wondered why there were so few. And I realized my wife's been out here picking and eating these things. Uh, there's several in the refrigerator in the house. So that's why there's not very many down there. But that's good. So anyway, the ones that are up here still need to, to get longer. As you can see these are mature right here and so I got the bottom leaves off they're laying out here we've got the wire running through the plants to hold them steady they won't fall over and we've got the bottom fruit off the plants and so they're ready to go uh, these were not top you don't want to top them that just slows down their growth and uh, as you can see, I'll show you one. The This is a leader right here that has come up and made another plant, and it's blooming. 
and that's what we want is the leaders to come on out here's another leader has come off and come out here so with that i'll end this video i hope you uh enjoyed this uh video if you like this kind of content and want to see some more please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video